Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Calligraphy from Mary D'Angelo. Oh, so this is a neat, um, actually it could be either a grid pattern or, uh, you know, just, you know, kind of a standalone, you know, just doing essentially one box of it. And that's what I'm going to do. I did do I did do a four square that I'll share with you so you can see what it looks like in a grid pattern. All right, so I'm just doing the outer box here. Okay. Then, <clears throat> you know, and, and let me also say, it doesn't even have to probably be in a box. It just occurred to me. If you have a, a section you're filling in, I'm going to dare say you could probably make this work and it'd probably look really cool. All right. So in the box or whatever section, we're going to do diagonal lines. Like so. Then add some rounding to those outer corners. So that is just uh, rounding off the corner, just as just as the uh, the the, uh, the name denotes and then filling in of course you can decide how you know how far down or, or you know maybe you want them to be a lot smaller and you could do it closer up towards the the corner there of course it's up to you <laughs> or <laughs> as as happens to me a lot, sometimes the pen or my hand just takes charge and says, this is what we're going to do. And uh, then I'm like, okay, well, th there we go. <laughs> All right, then we're going to do some big curved lines coming from the center to each side. Know that you're going to fit, uh, you know, let's see, let me just show you. So the first one, and I want to have it real close to over here, uh, to the corner, and then, and I'm going to not change the tile because I think I can kind of do it pretty well like so, because we're going to fit, we're going to do this two more times, so a total of three times in here, and you just want to make sure to have some space. This one I found was, uh, you know, let me just do this just because I'm, I didn't do it on my own step out because I'm using, I use a big eight and a half sheet of eight and a half by 11 sheet um, with a bunch of squares on it, but no, it works good. The reason for changing the tile direction, if you didn't know, is, you know, we plant our hand, you know, here on, on your surface, and then you have this natural curve. And so I like to take advantage of that natural curve. It helps with um, sometimes consistency and things like that. So in case you wonder why I flip the tile so many times, that's usually why. And then sometimes it's a matter of, well, I just want to have, you know, whatever I'm doing be comfortable. And uh, sometimes it, I have to decide what that means. <laughs> and so sometimes I'm switching the tile a lot. All right. So then, like I said, you know, we're going inside again i also like the idea of uh, now it depends on the ta on the tangle i will say that but repeating the same step over and over again yeah. besides the fact that it's repetition repetition and that's good but the other thing is is you know so as i'm doing it here well then i've, I've kind of eyeballed that distance and that helps <laughs> Although it's not 100%, as you can see here, it's not 100%, but it does help also with consistency. There are some uh, tangles that I just, I have to uh, do, you know, an entire, entire box at one time or like an entire section and then move on to the next one. I, you know, I share all of that because I... 
want to make sure that you know. I mean, there's not just one way to tangle. I mean, that we we have our you know our rules or guidelines, but you know they're you know they're okay being broken. Let's see, I got three in each one. This one is just a little bit weird. Okay, last step is we're gonna do some more rounding, and I'm gonna do this section here, and basically we're gonna have the rounding just on one side of all of these lines that we just did, but uh, aiming towards the inside here. So I, like, I'm just gonna do this, 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 and then on the, on the other side, it's going towards the, the middle like that. So as I was saying about the Zentangle rules, <laughs> We have them, we have that we have things for specific reasons, and I am a big proponent on the why. So whenever I say, well, here here's here's what we do and here's why. Just like I just did. Here here's why I'm doing it this way. Uh, and and why it I, I find it to be a benefit, but you know what? We're all different. So we can all, you know, do it a little bit different. And it's okay. For instance, the uh, black, white shades of gray. Uh, that is that is part of the actual method. I think I don't know. If maybe some people don't know that there is an actual method to Zentangle. It's more than just these awesome patterns. Uh, there is a method to it, and I highly recommend. You know, and I need to get one on the on the schedule. Um, take uh, I call it Zentangle Essentials. Uh, some people will call it like Zentangle 101 or, you know, a beginner class or something like that. Uh, but highly recommend taking that from a certified teacher because they shouldn't then know the whys behind all of this and to explain. And, you know, and I, I, I call mine essentials because you can take it more than once. And, you know, I have a lot of people that take it more than once and, you know, always get something new out of it because uh, we're always at a different place, uh, you know, when we take things. But it's the essential techniques to successful tangling and lingo and stuff like that. So uh, let's see. And there we have it. So that is neat. I'm going to leave these... Um, as I, as I touch it up, then I mess it up. Um, I'm going to leave the rounding at the edge like that in, because um, I kind of like it. Here's the sample I did, and I tried to thicken it. It was uh, thickening. So you could take this rounding, you, you know, you could, you know, widen all of, you know, widen this line, you know, all the way down if you want to. Take a look at the link next to where it says for more inspiration because that will show you what I mean. Um, and also give you some other ideas on how you could use it. Because like I said, you can use it just like this and have a lot of fun with it um, or use it in a grid pattern. Um, oh, I was just, you know, I'm just thinking shading. I want to do shading a little different. On this, I just went around the perimeter you know, of, of each grid line so you can see how it kind of gives it a bit of a, a puffy, almost a, a tile look, right? Um, but I'm almost thinking something different for here. Let's see, if I did, I could do the outsides. Well, let's do that and have fun. So I'm going on the outside of all of these. And I'm just going to do this one because I'm, I'm almost... <laughs> Thinking to myself, self, maybe, just maybe, I can do it two different ways on the same tile. We'll see. Let's see. Is that showing up? Oh, it is showing up. Okay. Sometimes I have to dim. It actually, it's not real dark, and I could go back and darken it. Um, let me go out of the way. A lot of times I'll start light. I like that. I'm going to do that on the opposite side. 
And while I'm doing that, I'm going to contemplate doing it on the opposite side. I might as well, while I'm on this side here, let's just. I'm contemplating what would it look like to do it on the op on the on the inside versus the outside. See, I've changed the pencil because I have like 12 of them right here around me. And then sometimes I'm always searching for one, right? <laughs> okay, just making that a little bit darker. Let's do it. Okay. Just because. Because this is about... Number one, explaining the tangle, and then two, exploring things. Uh, well, okay, maybe it's just because that's what I want to do. <laughs> uh, you can't, you, I can't, uh, you know, teach a tangle without adding some kind of shading to it. And so I'm just doing... The one side so far and for this because I have little room I'm just basically doing a back and forth motion so that way we will have uh, room for the natural tile color to uh, still be still be present and you know develop a gradient here and i think i see something else i wanted to do but you have to have that natural tile color in there so that way you get that rounded effect so that looks neat and why not do two different ways of shading on the same tile it's okay we can do what we want well, let's see. Da, da, da. And I'm going to do this here, so I might as well carry it into that very last one. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Right. And then this is going to be on this side. Okay. And if you're wondering why am I worried about which direction that I have turned the tile, it is because it's a lot nicer to put the tip of both your pencil and your tortillon on the line. I, I think of it as the line that I don't want to go over. So where I'm putting where I'm putting the graphite, and I don't want it to go over on that side. Um, I've heard it. Uh, I've heard Rick say, you know, put it where you want. It the darkest and that works too. Oh, there we go. See, we needed to have that. So this now you can see two different looks. It just depends on which side of the line that you shade. Super cool. All right. If you enjoyed this, and I hope you did, would love to have a have you click like. Feel free to share it, leave comments, and all that. If you liked it enough to see more, I would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. In the description section. I mentioned uh, the For More Inspiration link. That is where I always link to the originator of the tangle. To e it's either their blog or wherever I found it, uh, found the tangle. So that way then you can see it from their hand and any samples that they uh, provide. Before that, I, do, I always do my own version. So you'll see that below all of that, ways to connect with me if you wish. I have a link to my website. Um, and if you go to the main channel page, which that, I think if you just click on my name or picture, then that takes you to the main channel page that has all of the other links like the Facebook and Pinterest and um, Instagram, which unfortunately I haven't been on there again recently. Uh, I need to get that more into a habit. But 
you have those links anyway. Would love to connect with you. I also do classes every almost twice a week. Just depends on the week. Um, a lot of them are free. Some of them are paid. Uh, you can check those out also on my website. Would love to have you join us as well as on our Facebook community. Uh, we have a very active and positive, fun group and uh, would love to have you join us. So with that, thanks so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.